Duly noted, 6-6-2013. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here with the Beast Tamer, Jason Kafnick, RKC Level 1. What Jason and I want to cover today is his lack of shoulder mobility. And when Jason actually does the shoulder mobility test, we notice a couple of things about him. He decreases shoulder mobility, and when he does to compensate, we beat together all the way clutching. Good. Is he likes to, go ahead. He likes to hyperextend through the low back. <laughs> instead of being able to pull the ribs down and create true thoracic extension. So to prevent future injury to him and to actually create true thoracic extension, we do a drill of flat on the back. So go ahead and lay across this. Jason really wants symmetrical twos on the FMS because he wants to press overhead. He's very, very eager for it. Kind of restricting him from that. Get it? Which I know he will get. I do miss it. <laughs> the wall, pushing himself away from it. What that does is create low back stability, a flat low back engaged core. And I'll even try to yank this up from underneath him, the RKC trick that they teach the Russian Center Wall Certification. And you can't quite get it if he's nice and flat. What he's doing is pulling the ribs downwards towards his knees, engaging that core system. Okay? And I'm going to get the wall. He's going to hold it over here. You got that okay? Yep. Elbows nice and straight, shoulders down and back. What Jason's going to do is maintain this tension on the towel and hold that weight overhead and then bring himself, lay the head flat good, bring his arms straight and bring himself into extension. And I'm going to keep on the towel every once in a while to make sure he's keeping that core engaged and not hyperextending through his drop of the arms. Perfectly done. He's going to continue to do this. He does this along with shoulder mobility drills, shoulder rollouts, and he really wants permission to uh, to be able to lift overhead. He's almost there. He's very, very close. He's a half an inch away from symmetrical twos. So he's going to continue to do his thoracic mobility and continue to uh, increase his shoulder mobility, and he'll have his symmetrical twos. Try this out. It's amazing for building up core stability, which will create the distal mobility needs in the shoulders. Dr. Kathy Dooley, we'll see you next time.